skip coach back in my summer car. Okay, it's eight. It's like eight eight, 8 p.m. ish. I don't know. It's like it's in the evening on Wednesday. I slept and I, I slept at the wrong time of day, and now it's in the evening. I want to run into town to see if uh, Tiamo's got food in, but I, th I think he's going to be closed uh, before I get there. But we're going to try anyway, because uh, we're just yeah. We need we need the sugar again, and it's been a week. <laughs> and uh, look at this. Someone's pointing out. I said, oh, the OCD. Of the chair and uh, signal simulator is not being centered. The, the desk, look at the steering wheel. It's not centered in the dash. <laughs> it's not even centered to the seats. <laughs> so if that bothered you, get ready for hell, boys. Okay, we're going to buckle up here. So I'm going to run into town. What I'm hoping actually will happen is he will be open. If not, we're just going to swing around and pick up our... Oh, here we go. Shit. Oh, we got to pick up our kill you bottles anyway. So this might just be a, a bombing around episode. But I haven't quite figured out how that is yet. And I can use some fuel. I'm down to about half a tank. Just slightly less than half a tank. That's on. That's off. Okay. So I'm hoping I can do this with relative ease without too much trouble. At least that's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> because this game, when there's trouble, it costs you tens of thousands of dollars. So we're going to try this out. See, I'm trying to learn how to launch a bit better because of the drag racing. Because I need the drag racing to go well, or we're going to have trouble. <laughs> and I've already beat the rally once, and people keep telling me I need to beat the senior rally, but I don't really care about the senior rally as much. I, I'm going to do it, I think. It's just a win or lose, I, I don't really care. It's, it's more about, for me, it's more about that just beating the rally the first time, right? That was always kind of my, my shtick, was beating that rally the first time. That was always the thing. Okay, I gotta get the choke back in here. People keep reminding me, you know, you know you're not supposed to drive with your choke on. I'm like, well, I know this. I just drive, I usually keep it on down this road to the car's warmed up and then I turn it off. Or if I'm waiting for the train, but sometimes I forget because I'm talking and I get busy. Uh, I used to drive an old pickup truck that had a choke, so I know all about chokes. But you, when you're driving it like physically, and you're not in a game. You don't, you don't, uh, you don't forget as often. But <laughs> you know, that's kind of a. Is there a train? Because every time lately, there's been a train. Let's put the choke in. There we go. Whoop. Through there. There we are. All right. It, it, I noticed the air fuel mixture is bouncing around again. I've only driven it a couple of times, so I find that kind of strange. But that's all right. I can live with that. No Pina? Please no Pina. All right, we're not going to check the other way. Okay, go this way. All right. There we go. All right. It only takes a few, What I really should do, honestly, is, is warm it up before I uh, before I leave. The house? The car should warm... Sorry, I was thinking too much. <laughs> I should warm up the car before I leave, and that way I don't have these problems. But here we are, once again, burning a bit too much fuel, but that's all right. All it'll do is foul the spark plugs, which I've already dealt with once. It's not a big deal. I don't mind doing spark plugs from time to time. I'm just taking it easy today. I'm just kind of trying to take it a little bit easier on this car. I've kind of always beaten the hell out of it. But I guess we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Let's shove the clutch in here and we'll see where we're at. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're fine. All right. It's just a yield. We're good. I'm always just riding the hell out of this thing. And I probably shouldn't, because I'm always like revving the shit out of it, like I'm revving it right to like seven grand, you know, like all the time. Like constantly revving the little crap out of this poor little car. Oh yeah, good times. Stay in your own lane, fool. What are you doing? Jeez, you know, you get, you get talking. This is what I'm distracted driving, guys. We don't need it, we don't want it, we can afford it if we did. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going, you know, hope there's, I hope it's someone's birthday. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday. Happy birthday, if it was recently your birthday. You know, like all the, all the haps. All the haps to you and, and yours. Boy, what I wouldn't kill for a five-speed with an overdrive here. It's got to get these RPMs down. Like I'm in, like I'm doing 130 and it's revving, what, five and a half thousand? Like that is ridiculous. 
This is just waiting for a ring to blow or something. <laughs> I can see it. Oh, get in your lane, fool. Yeah, but I want to go because even if uh, there's nothing going on, if I can't get gas or whatever, I don't mind. That's fine. I just wanted to go for a drive, really. I just like driving in this game. I would do whole episodes of me just driving around if I could get away with it. But that would not be for that would not be very good content. <laughs> What's going on here? We got something going on. What is this? Is this the camper van? Is that what that is? That's the, is this the, uh, the, what do they call them? Caravans in Europe? There we go. Just a nice, just a nice evening cruise on a Wednesday. Now we do got to be careful of moose. I've seen moose or elk. I think it's a moose. And then they come popping out sometimes. I had the one when I was looking for the ghost. I had that scare that the moose was showing up. It just showed up out of nowhere. Scared the living Jesus out of me. Jeez. <laughs> that was a that was a moment. Not, not my proudest moment. Not my proudest moment. Yeah, this has got to be the caravan, right? You know, you just don't see too many of those pulled with cars in in North America. Usually, someone's got a truck if they got a a caravan. This might just be the regular van. I don't know. I can't tell from here. It might just be that uh, van like mine, but yellow. Ah, it might be. I don't know. I think it is. But you don't see too many cars pulling uh, camper wagons in uh, in North America. It's usually someone has a truck or some sort of crossover or something stupid. Something that really can't pull the weight, but they're doing it anyway. You know, one thing I've learned about cars in, in my own my many years of working on them is most people will do stupid stuff with cars they shouldn't do. I've seen trucks loaded down so far. The suspension doesn't even function anymore. What do we got here? Let's see. Oh, it's those guys again! Hate these guys. Oh, I gotta remember which one is the, the flipping them off. Button. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna park my car here. Oh, it sounds like the bar is open. So I doubt I'll be able to get into the store. I'll check to see if the store is open, but I doubt it. Is this is this closed now? God damn it. Well, we might as well get something to drink. Alrighty, let's see here. I will take a... I will take a coffee, please. Thank you! There's so much noise in here, boys! Oh, there we go. Maybe that'll help my uh, fatigue a little bit. Yep, there we go. Thanks! But what do you do with that arm? Like, what is, what is this? Still haven't replaced that uh, st slot machine. I see how it is. I really want these guys to go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you and your stupid yellow car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You too, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like that? Yeah, get out of here, you fools. You always just driving around causing accidents. You killed me once. So don't even start with me, you son of a gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you, you going to do about it, bro? What are you going to do? You going to run me over? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, really? You're going to smash my head? Oh, yeah, there you go. You know someone's going to get hurt soon. I'm going to beat the shit out of you is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen! I got this. You like this? Yeah, bring it, fool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. shut up. Watch your face. I got no time for your bull crap. Hey, it's my song! <laughs> so those guys are dinks, man. Let's see here. What do we got here? Oh, we're thirsty again. You know, I'm going to drink some milk because I have this milk sitting out here for th three months. <laughs> you know what? Nothing says... There we go. Uh, better. Okay. Nothing says love like warm milk. All right. Now, I kind of... What, what is happening? What is happening? Why is that guy freaking out? What is going on? Uh-oh. Okay, okay, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. I'm backing up. I don't want any part of this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a street race right now. What is going on? I kind of, like, I've always wanted to know where they go after they leave here. Okay, we're just gonna, just gonna wait here and see what they do. Don't you even. Where's he going? 
Where's he going? I kind I kind of want to know if he like because sometimes he goes down the road and I kind of want to follow it. He's going that way. All right. All right, where'd he go? Whoa, 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 I can't see. Okay, I hit my mouse funny. All right, I don't see him anywhere. Okay, I don't see him. Where'd he go? He always goes down here and then I lose him. This is the second time I've lost this guy. Okay, come on. Where did he go? Oh, well, he must have left. All right, well, we're going to head back home. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see him. And I don't see any tire marks or anything. Normally, he's, like, squealing his tires and all that. All right. Come on, little car, go. I don't see him anywhere, so he must be gone. I feel like my headlights aren't working. At least I at least they don't seem to be working. There we go. Okay, I wonder where my headlights were working. Don't bump into me. Okay, there we go. We're all over the road. Whoa, where is that guy going? Oh god, he's out of control! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god, are you alright, buddy? <laughs> come up, you son of a bitch! I gotta come make fun of you. Where's my car? Park here. Oh, you're dead. Are you dead? You're not dead, are you? We're in neutral? Okay, I gotta check for cars. Alright, let me out. I don't wanna get hit by a car. I don't wanna get hit by a car. We got a bus here. What is, what's going on with the bus? Okay, cross the road. Oh, buddy. It hurts. Oh, shit. Dude, are you dead? Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, God. You know, every Oh, close it on her arm. Don't do that. Oh, God. You're hurt. Okay, come here. Okay, we're just going to grab you by the shoulders. That's not your shoulder. Um, Come on. We gotta get your leg out of here too. You know, okay, his windshield's all like inside the. Okay, Quan, come on, baby. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not being inappropriate. I'm just trying to save your life. Better check for traffic. I don't see any traffic. We gotta get you across the road in a timely fashion because cars don't stop in this neighborhood. Okay, this is not, baby. We got you. Your little hair thing stayed in though. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, we just got to get you in the car now. Okay, I think we're okay standing here. Okay, you're in the car, right? You're right. Okay, here we go. Close the door. I'm not sure this is appropriate, but we're going to... Okay, well, I don't know what to do with you. It's, it's, you, said, you said you can't tell your parents or something? Jesus. Okay. I just need the handbrake off, please. Okay, you just wait there. We're going to get you... I'm going to take you to my house. I'll put you in the closet with the other guy. He disappeared, though, so I don't know what's going to happen with you. All right, come on, baby. Okay, this is wildly inappropriate, but I'm going to take her back to my house. <laughs> you know, this is one of those times where you have to talk about safety in cars. Okay, this guy's going real fast here. All right, just, just careful here. This is when you don't... You, you shouldn't drive that fast on a civilian road. That's why they have racetracks. Now, everybody I ever say this to, because I'm a car guy, right? Everyone ever say to always like, oh, you know, what's not a big deal if there's nobody around? Well, the problem with nobody being around is if you do have an accident, there's nobody to help you. Now, I'm not going to say I never did. I did some really stupid things with cars when I was younger. All right? That's just not it. I, but I learned my lesson. So if I can give any lesson to you new drivers out there, don't drive like an idiot on civilian roads because you can hurt yourself or somebody else. The last thing you want to be doing is messing around on a back road somewhere. Right? And then you're like, oh, I'm just going to mess around. 
and you get into a ditch and get hurt, and then nobody finds you for three days. That's the last thing you need. Trust me, I know this, but this, I feel like, I feel like this is a terrible idea, but I don't know what to do with her, so I'm gonna bring her home. She can have my, no, and I'll throw in my parents' bed, because I need to sleep <laughs> at some point. But that's, that's my plan. That is my plan. You know what, I rescued a woman, and now we're gonna take her home. I don't have any band-aids. I should really get some band-aids. Is there band-aids? Something in a, this is, why is there so much traffic at night on a Wednesday? See, I thought this was gonna be a boring drive to town and suddenly something amazing happens. We got a new best friend and her name is Susky, Susky, something like that. Yes, she's gonna live in my closet now just like that other dude did. Okay, here we go. And I think this is something to do with the plot line of getting her to be your girlfriend, but I really feel like kidnapping is not the best way to get a girl. I just, I feel like that's the, the one of the worst ways. Sorry, I'm going so slow. I'm just trying to be real easy because people have a tendency, stuff and objects fall out of the car. And the last thing I want to do is leave her on the road somewhere. I can't even tell if she's still there. I think she is. Now we got to watch out for penis. You know, he's here. The last thing we need in this situation is a random penis. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's take it easy. We'll go home easy. I don't need, I don't need the problems right now. <laughs> Boy, it's dark in the countryside and I forgot this. It's been a while since I lived out in the country. But man, the nighttime's gonna be super, super dark. All right, let's see here. But I just wanna take it easy because I, I don't know this young lady. And, and you know, this is, this is bordering on kidnapping, I think. So we're gonna take her home and, and put her in, uh, I guess, uh, maybe I'll throw her on the couch or something, maybe, I don't know. So this is a development. We now have this woman in our car, and I, I feel terrible. I probably should have taken her home, but I don't know where she lives. So we're just gonna have to kind of figure that out as we go. This is, this, is, this is interesting, though. This is different than normal. My original plan was just to make kill you, but the place isn't open, so I thought it was open till nine. Apparently it's only open till maybe eight. Maybe it's less than that, I don't even know. I'm just gonna slow down a bit here, take this corner gently. We don't, she's already banged up enough. Last thing we need to do is get her hurt more. <laughs> Jeez, this is exciting. I like when new things in games happen you weren't expecting. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I'm so tired again today, so I'm not exactly in the best mood to record, but this, this changes my tune completely. I didn't see any moose. I didn't, I didn't get in an accident. My car is not in any more damage than it was. And stop, all right. Parking brake on. All right, is she still here? Yep, she's still there, I see shoulders. Okay, this, okay, this is on, all right. Okay, I don't, oh crap, where's the? I can't, am I out? Oh, I'm not out yet, get out, okay, here we go. Let's get the shop lights on, because I can't see anything. There we go, all right, here we go. Where can I find the door? All right, we can turn this ignition off, I guess. There we go, all right, let's get the, the house lights on, if I can find those. Okay, I can't even see here. There we go. Okay, here we are. That's better. Okay, now we have lights. Baby, are, are you okay, lady? I just need you to come with me here. All right. I hear wild dogs, and the last thing, I'm going to grab you by the butt. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Now you at least turn the lights so I can see you. Are you not, what are you wearing on your feet? Okay, now I just want to tell everybody, let's drop you for a second. That is not how you carry a woman, all right? So if you have an injured woman in your life, do not carry her like that. That light is on. I got to turn that off because you just know it's going to drain the battery. All right, let's just uh, turn this off here. There we go. All right, turn this on. I'm not sure if the battery drains in this game, but I'm going to assume it does. So how should I pick her up appropriately? We got it by the shoulder. Okay, that's by the shoulder. Can we pick it by the stomach? We cannot. We can get you by the thigh. All right, let's get inside. Okay, we just got to... This is wildly inappropriate. Come here. I'm just trying to help you. It's nothing weird. I'm not going to be creepy or anything. Come on. Okay. Oh, my God. She's dabbing. Come here. That's that's so 2017. Come here. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Now I get you. Can I get you by the head, head or something? Okay, let's drag in here. All righty. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just, she's, she's waving. That's a good sign. That means she's still alive. I'm going to bring you back here. I got a spare bedroom you can sleep in because I don't think it'd be appropriate if we, oh, sorry about the door. <laughs> I don't think it'd be appropriate if you slept in my bed. So we're going to, okay, we're just trying to, we're just trying to be a gentleman here. Come here with this. You have terrible taste in footwear. Come here. Oh, that's not good for your legs at all. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, no, we'll do a wear. Uh, see how much she is. Uh, okay, just come on in here right now. Why are you doing this to me? I don't understand. Is it because your other thigh here? Is it your leg? Okay, this is gotta hurt. Her arm is behind her head like this. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Just gotta lift this leg up a bit and bring, <laughs> bring it in. Come on. Ah. Uh. God, thank you. Are you taking yoga? You look like somebody might do yoga. Okay. Now we're going to try to get you up on the bed. But I'm not, you're not making any noises anymore. And this is bothering, this is scaring me a little bit. There you go. All right. We're going we're to straighten you out. Am I though? Am I? Come on, just, there you go. All right. So we're going to leave you there. I'm going to try to fix that arm because I feel bad for you having to sleep like this. I'm not, don't worry. I'm not getting in bed with you. I'm just fixing this arm here. Okay. All right, watch your head on the headboard there. All right, there. Okay. that looks wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> she kind of looks like a friend of mine from high school. He's a good guy. All right, there you go. That's better. All right, how much do I weigh? I can't tell from here. 90 kilos, what does that say? We weigh nothing. All right, so uh, that's good. Now we got to close the door. The bears, the bears, the bears. I'm going to sleep, I think. I'll leave the garage open. I just don't want that open. I hope the cops don't show up in the morning. Okay, let's have something to drink. Have a quick shower, you know. After rescuing people, you need to have a shower sometimes. That's just, like, the way it is. A little of that. Okay, we're going to have a have a shower real quick. And it's not... I'm not super tired. Oh, God, it's creepy in here. All right, turn this on. There we go. I like this whole idea of having a, just a room you shower in. I figure you put it right after your bedroom door. So you leave your bedroom, boom, you walk through the shower, you're clean for work. Everything works out better. Okay. All right, we're going to have a smoke, and then we're going to hit the sack. And we'll uh, we'll talk to her in the morning and see what's up, because I feel bad for her. I don't want her to have an accident. I wasn't trying to chase that guy down to have an accident with him. Okay, there we go. But on the plus side, uh, I think his name is Janny? Yanny? He's dead. So that works to my advantage, being I'm pretty sure she's the only girl in town. <laughs> so, <laughs> except for his buddy there. All right, we just had a smoke. It is, what time is it? It's 2 a.m. Let's go have a sleep. Oh, that's the bathroom. We don't sleep in the bathroom. Well, you could, I guess, but there's nothing in, there's no bathtub in this house, I've noticed. All right, let's have a sleep. Okay. That's, there we go. <sighs> Hopefully we make her some breakfast. I should give her some. I can give her some of my really wiener, and then she can enjoy those with me at the breakfast table. What time is it? It's only four a.m. Um, it's definitely not morning yet. I should probably. I'm assuming she's probably still asleep, so I'm going to watch TV for a bit, get tired, watch this test pattern, and then. This thing raises your fatigue so lovely. It really does. So I'll get back to you when it's morning. Oh, it's 8 a.m., which is great. I got nothing for her for breakfast, really. I, I don't even know. This Everything's falling over around in here. Let's go check on her and see what she's up to. Oh, uh, she's gone. This, this is my life. I capture people and I keep them in closets and bedrooms and they leave. Like the last guy in the closet, I understand. I get it. He didn't want to stay because it's made out of AstroTurf, but she had a whole bed. And now she's got, oh, there's a note or something. What is this? How do I, how do I read this? Okay, let's see. Uh, crouch down. What does this say? Thanks for helping me. You're such a nice dude. You know what? Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay. I got a letter from a girl. This is going to go on my trophy shelf because girls don't like me. So this is going in my... Uh, can we put this up as a trophy somewhere? All right, I'm going to pick this up here like such. All right, I'm such a nice dude. That's good. You know what? I like to be thought of as a nice dude. 
Um, that's always fun. There we go. <laughs> I got my thanks for helping me out. You're such a nice dude. Well, interesting. Interesting. Is the phone plugged in? The phone is plugged in. So this is in okay. I'm gonna turn all these lights off. I'm just wasting power at this point. So interesting development. I saved the girl. So I'm not sure what that means, or maybe now she'll go on a date with me or something. I don't know. But we did rescue a girl. So this has been an interesting episode. For sure. Faux show. So I'm I'm super enjoying this. Uh, at this point, this is this has been fun. I like this. But I think I'm gonna leave this episode here because I have nothing left yep. I have nothing left to accomplish. Other than I gotta make some kill you at some point, and I'll probably head into town to do that uh, before I uh, stop uh playing the game, but I'm not going to record it because it's boring. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell me how I should have taken her on a date instead of throwing her in my parents' bed. And I thought I was being a nice guy, but apparently not. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Shut up, Mosquito. I need to stop. Thank you. Scapegoat. Out.